Steve decided to become a human dog, but few months later he regretted his action and the reason he did it will surprise you. Steve felt he was not being loved by his family since he was a child. Then one day, he made a big decision and become a pet dog and live like them because he felt dogs are more loved than humans. But what Steve didn't know that this decision will turn his life upside down if you want to continue to watch this story. Click on the play button below or go to my YouTube channel to watch the full video when Steve transformed. He felt he was liberated. He could finally be himself and get all the love and attention he was seeking for. He did everything exactly like a real dog. He barked at other dogs wear collar like them. And the most incredible things is that he eat dogs food. Steve even made new dog friends, but everything never went how he expected. Few months later, Steve's life turned into a true horror movie because something had happened to the family who Steve has a dog, Stephen was taken in by a kind family who named him Max. They treated him well, providing food, shelter and affection. He enjoyed the warmth of their home and the companionship they offered. The simplicity of his new life was initially a welcome change from the complexities of his human existence. However, it didn't take long for Stephen to realize the downsides of his new form. Communication was a major hurdle. His thoughts remained human, but his voice was reduced to barks and whines. Expressing his feelings and desires became a frustrating challenge. Stephen also found himself at the mercy of others. He was dependent on the family for food, care and protection. While they were kind, he missed the autonomy and independence he had as a human. His ability to make decisions and control his own fate was severely limited. As the months passed, Stephen began to regret his decision. He missed the intellectual stimulation of his job, the meaningful conversations with friends, and even the mundane routines he had once despised. He realized that the complexity of human life, with all its challenges, was what made it rich and meaningful. One particularly harsh winter, Stephen found himself alone in the backyard. The family had gone on vacation, leaving him in the care of a neighbor who often forgot to check on him. As he shivered in the cold, his regret deepened. He felt more isolated and helpless than ever before. Desperation set in. Stephen knew he had to find a way to reverse the transformation. He remembered the ancient book and the possibility of returning to his human form. But how could he do it without hands to turn the pages or a voice to chant the incantation? Determined, Stephen set out on a perilous journey to find the book. He escaped the backyard and roamed the city streets, using his heightened senses to navigate. The journey was filled with dangers and obstacles. He had to avoid cars, fend off hostile dogs and evade suspicious humans. While scavenging for food one day, Stephen encountered an old homeless man who seemed to recognize something unusual about him. The man looked into Stephen's eyes and whispered, You're not just a dog, are you? Stephen barked in response, hoping the man could understand. The old man, a former magician who had once dabbled in the same ancient magic, offered to help Stephen. He led Stephen to his makeshift shelter, where he pulled out a tattered ancient book similar to the one Stephen had used. The man explained that the reversal spell required a deep understanding of one's true desires and a willingness to accept the consequences of their actions. The old man began the incantation, but it was incomplete without Stephen's participation. Stephen focused intently, trying to communicate his regret and longing to return to his human form. The old man seemed to understand and included Stephen's emotions in the chant. As the spell progressed, Stephen felt a familiar sensation wash over him. His body began to change once more. Fur receded, limbs lengthened, and his senses dulled. The transformation was slow and painful, but Stephen endured it with hope and determination. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Stephen found himself lying on the ground, back in his human form. He looked at his hands in disbelief, flexing his fingers and feeling the rough texture of the ground beneath him. Tears of relief and gratitude filled his eyes. The old man smiled and offered Stephen a place to rest. Stephen accepted, grateful for the kindness. As he lay on the makeshift bed, 
he reflected on his experiences. He realized that his time as a dog had taught him valuable lessons about appreciation, resilience, and the importance of human connections. In the days that followed, Stephen slowly reintegrated into society. He reconnected with his old friends and returned to his job with a newfound sense of purpose. The mundane tasks he once despised now seemed meaningful, each one a testament to his humanity.